More people every day are looking to expand their day jobs, meaning in thriving businesses, right? In this week's Side Hustle Success, Chloe Mala spoke to one woman who was determined to make baby food a cut above the rest. She is now running a successful business. Hi, Chloe. Hey Susan, so I discovered the organic baby and toddler food brand Happy Family when I had my first child and I was fascinated how at such a young age, just 26 years old, Shazi Vistram was able to launch it from her little Brooklyn, New York kitchen with no background in the food business. She didn't even have kids at the time, but she saw a void in the marketplace and that's when things exploded. I was 26. I was looking for a way, um, sounds cheesy, but to change the world through business. I saw a need to improve our children's health, and the way to do it, I thought, was through healthy nutrition. Shazi Vistram created a $250 million empire and was even called a rock star and a leader we can all emulate by President Barack Obama. But there were plenty of rock bottom moments. I'm not going to pretend that it wasn't hard. When I was pregnant, I used to sleep on the floor of my office on a yoga mat and that had a travel pillow and a blanket from Staples that we got for free for buying so many office supplies. And like I would sleep there and on the floor and take naps. My husband would play pool to win like $40, literally, at a pool tournament, and we would be so happy that, um, that he won that week. Shazi, who was born to immigrant parents from Pakistan and Tanzania, says her perseverance is a credit to them. I grew up in a motel room in Alabama the first eight years of my life in the States, so um, it wasn't like I had, you know... A silver spoon. A, definitely not a silver spoon. Having immigrant parents is probably even more of an education than an MBA for an entrepreneur. Because you see somebody who's coming here with no real experience, completely dropped in a new culture, and no matter what, they're gonna figure it out because they have to. Susan, Shazi's story goes to show you that you don't need to have tons of money in the bank or be born into the right connections. It's really about holding on to your dream no matter how many no's you get along the way and looking to either make a product better or fill a space in an industry that doesn't exist. So we should all keep our eyes open like Shazi because you could be sitting on the next big idea. I hope it is me. <laughs> Chloe, thank you. Appreciate that. Here's